an issue that we have to address working together to protect New Hampshire's environment. It's not just uh, the rising water in the seacoast, but we have a moose population that's really struggling, um, you know, from ticks and other other diseases. Uh, but this, this issue is one where um, I have really crossed party lines on. Um, I've supported the what's called the Clean Power Plan, uh, which is addressing climate change. And this is something where, you know, I was actually the first Republican in the country to support this. And the reason for it is if you look at what's happening in New Hampshire, the efforts that we have already undertaken, uh, for example, in the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, already put us in the position to meet uh, what's in the Clean Power Plan and to put us in a strong competitive position as a state while protecting our environment. I think we can all appreciate one of the great economic drivers of our state, but more importantly, who we are as a state is our beautiful environment. And so this is an area I, I would I say also that cries out for bipartisanship. Too often in Washington, it's it's a discussion about one, one side in the camp about its jobs and the other side in the camp, oh, it's the environment. It's both. And that means looking for ways to protect New Hampshire's environment. Let's uh, continue to develop renewable energy. Let's make sure that we're driving energy efficiency uh, opportunities because uh, they make sense. And you, you see it right in your the work that you do with the homes and how much money can be saved there. And I think this is an area where conserving our environment is one uh, that we should be working in a much more bipartisan way than we are right now.